Yo, this is Foodie Life Mac. Welcome to my show, Cheesesteak Run. I'm going to be taking you all around the city. I'm going to show you cheesesteaks from good, hopefully only to good, or great. You know, I don't want any bad cheesesteaks. That's the goal. So, I mean, there's a couple rules that I have to get out the way. I'm going to do it plain. Most of the time, almost, if not all the time, it's going to be American. A Cooper Sharp cheese. No onions and no mayo. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I've been to some places where I had onions and they didn't cook them well enough and I went before and they had a great cheese steak. The onions messed it up. And I've had times where I had mayo and that messed it up. The whole point of this is consistent cheese steaks, they're going to win. But stay tuned. This is Free Life Mac. Welcome to my show, Cheese Steak. Yeah. And here I got the got the slabs. No, no finely chopped, no thin slices. You got the slabs on here. Um, I don't know how this is gonna taste. Uh, I like Phillips with the slabs. Uh, I don't know the other one is either what, Pats or Geno's. I don't know which one is, is more slab, but I heard that one not too good. But anyway, I'm about to break it in half. I got a half ketchup side, like always. And I got the regular side. Got my man right here with the lawnmower. Trying to make as much noise as possible. Yeah, Dick. But um, here we go. Let me taste it. Very steaky. I don't know what that means, but <coughs> ah, texturally, like got the definitely has a little more steak from the restaurant. Way cooked medium, medium well, I mean, medium rare for you. We got to do it that way. But, I don't think it's too, too overly flavorful. This is the ketchup side. I'm gonna try this side. Two for a second, I'll be right back. Much better with the ketchup. I'm just trying to figure out where to rate it because I know I know what I think of it. It's not bad, it's not great, it's, it's pretty good. And my uh and I'm kind of thinking of the rankings of where who is lower. Like this is uh definitely above Chubby's, and it's definitely above what's the joint went to at, uh and at the one out in the county. But uh Oh, Jim and Phil, Phil and Jim's or something. Phil and Jim's, okay. But I'm gonna have to say this. This is a around a two four. I mean, not two four. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't. I'm sorry, Steve. I'm sorry, Steve. Not in the twos. Not in the twos. You gotta be pretty bad to be in the twos for me. Like you know. So I'm. A, I think it's a three four. Three four. Um, right around. Where was that? Uh, Whiskey piece. Right around there. Could be a three five. But I don't think it's as good as like Jim's or Del Sandro's, but uh, around three, four. I said Jim's? Jim's, you know, yeah, when they see the Jim's review, if they didn't see the Jim's review, then they're going to see. You know, I, if you don't know, I thought Jim's sucked for years and years and years. And do I still think it sucks? Well, you're going to have to watch it and see. But all right, we're at Steve's. This is the Northeast, and I'm Foodie Life Mac, the Flyer Foodie. I'm out of here. I need you guys to help me grow my channel and grow my buzz. This is Free Life, man. This is Cheesesteak Run. I need from the young boys to the OGs to show me some love. Like, comment, sub, share. All of the above. Yeah.